1956 or seven Gretsch with a round badge, which to those who collect them is quite important. The era I've learned to play, this particular make and drums were like what everybody loved to use. In the early 70s, I was doing a session for Ronnie Wood in Los Angeles, and uh, one of his many solo epics, and uh, he hired a drum kit from SIR, and, and the boy that got it, the drum kit, brought this along, which was like his favorite one in the place, and he, he looked after it. And I fell in love with it on those. I used it the whole time on Ronnie's, I've forgotten which one it was, album, but anyway. And, uh, and I've had it ever since, and I use it all the time. Because of how I learned to play and the people I, had, I loved when I was young and was learning, because I never learned uh, in, in, uh, in studies or anything. I used to watch people play and copy them. And all those guys were happened to be jazz players, which is what I like, but, uh, but it's very, very important, the ride cymbals, the different sounds and the way you play them, very important. Whereas in, uh, in rock bands, it, it's not so important. I mean, some really, really great rock drummers, or guys that play rock and roll, have uh, dreadful sounding cymbals, really, but they don't actually need them, you know? And engineers don't like Sit, don't, uh, usually don't like symbols that really ride over everything. I do, but that's the way I play, you know. They don't like that because it's not clean and not, you know, you, you, you can't control it. Most of these symbols are really old. This one is about 30 years old, if not older. And this one is 30 years old, this flat, you fit. These things break all the time, and these are really old. These are old, as old as these. So, but I keep lots of uh, my things I keep for years. Not only drums, everything. This is a copy of an old one I had, this thing. I wouldn't bring it out here, it's too delicate, and I use that with jazz. It's called a swish, which is an Avidas, and it's a really low ride. This is for pianos, really, but I, with, with ours, I, I use it with the guitars and that's just a crash that has a, a bomb there that's a, a bomb and that's a bottle so you can see we've been we went down very well some nights and this thing is uh the usual uh, i use it as a crash it's like a chinese symbol same as that except that's got rivets in but this takes quite a hard bash every night and they split on the edge because you're not supposed, you, you originally weren't supposed to use, the way they're made, they're not really meant the way I play them, you know? You're not meant to crash these, really. And they do take, if you catch them wrong, this one's going here. And this will go further and further, and, and the sound will just choke up. 